Hello, I'm Zombie Cat. And I'm Mr. Evil Cheese. And this is our video of my Gremlins collection. Uh, first we have my stuffed gizmo, which when we first got him he didn't look very good, but I gave him a face haircut. <laughs> so now he looks much better. Yeah, so I remember that his mouth and his eyes were covered up a lot by his fur because it was too long. Yeah, I had to trim it all off to make him look okay. <laughs> but it is really cool. This is made by NECA. I think they're all made by NECA, aren't they? Yeah, everything we show tonight is made by NECA. Even these little guys? Yep. We'll get to them that I'm talking about. <laughs> um, there's also a dancing, singing one, but it's basically just this, only a little bigger. and It looks kind of funny, so this I like this one better. Yeah, my, my collection thing is not to collect them all, it's to collect all the ones I like. Mm -hmm. I don't need a complete collection, I just need the ones I want. Next we have Rambo Gizmo, who comes with his, uh, his little paperclip bow and his little, I don't even know what you call that thing on his back, <laughs> his weird little arrow thingamajig it's a on pen pencil. It's a pencil with a medicine bottle on it looks like. <laughs> He's pretty awesome though. He looks like he's he's gonna kick some ass, man. I like that expression he's got. <laughs> you motherfuckers don't even know what's coming. <laughs> Next we have the opposite Gizmo, <laughs> sad Gizmo. He looks so sad. He's he's probably like one of my favorites. <laughs> I love that face. He's just like, why are you guys so mean? Did they make a regular Happy Zoo Gizmo? I can't remember. I don't know. I don't have them if they did. <laughs> I just have these two. <laughs> he's just like, look, he's like making puppy out guys like he's begging for pizza while you're eating. I know. <laughs> it looks like Havoc. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> they did have a Gizmo and a Santa Claus hat. He's, I don't care about that. I think it was just this one with the Santa Claus hat. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Christmas. Next we have Mohawk as a mogwai and he's one of my favorites as well this um, is the one from gremlins 2 he is slightly modified when we got him his mohawk was ridiculously long and stupid looking so i trimmed it <laughs> and it looks much better now yeah it does. i like his eyes too because they got that yellow or orange just he just looks so fucking evil mm -hmm. and that fucking wicked grin he's just <laughs> awesome i love him I like his patterns, too. Mm-hmm. It almost looks like a skunk. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> like, I'm gonna fuck up your day and then make it smell bad, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing that was different about Gremlins, too, is all the Mogwais in the first one were basically the same color as Gizmo. I think the patterns were a little different, but they are all brown and white. But he's, like, black and white, and then some of the other ones, Mogwais and Gremlins, too, were a different color. Next we have... Penny? Penny, Penny, yes. Penny, okay. <laughs> She's all I was like, I don't, even, I don't remember her name most of the time. Yeah. But I like her tabby cat pattern. Let me show her back. Looks better back there. Mm -hmm. I like her pattern. She's probably, like, I would say probably my least favorite of the Mogwais. But I still really like her because I bought her. Yeah. There are ones that I didn't buy. <laughs> I don't think this appeared in many of the movies or anything. I haven't had a problem with any of the ones they've made up so far. Like they they have like the Batman and Spider Man shit they make up in the store that's absolutely retarded. Mm -hmm. But these it's just different patterns. I don't care. They're cool. Yeah. <laughs> and here we have Brownie, which I like this one because it's so different from the other ones. I like his pattern. Uh -huh. I'm not a big fan of the folded down ears though. Yeah, it's different. I like them better when they stick up. I mean, it's okay. I just like them better. Well, it's like, like in the show, most of the characters, their ears move. Like, his ears also go like gizmos and stand out. But mm -hmm. there's a couple characters that do have permanently down ears. Like, I think of Lenny. He's the one that looks like a donkey. He's lame. I don't like him. <laughs> he's the one that's dumb. I don't have either one of his figures. Because <laughs> he's dumb. <laughs> I do like this one, though. Next we have Daffy. <laughs> Who also has a mohawk, by the way. Um, originally, we bought this one because we're like, oh my god, it looks like Gypsy, we have to have it. <laughs> and he's really cute and he's nuts, which I love. Uh -huh. 
And I like his little floppy mohawk. And he reminds... He's one of my favorite Mogwais, too. Because he's just insane. And he's his eyes are purposely made to be crooked and crazy. Because he's like that. He's like hyper and nuts. And uh, also, he reminds me of the crazy character from the Ewoks 2 movie. He's like a super fast, crazy character. It looks a lot like this thing. We don't have the gremlin of him, though. Did they make a gremlin of him? Yeah. You just, you didn't want it. All right, now we have Patches, who, after we got Daffy, this line was being shown online, like the pictures and shit, and I'm like, that even looks more like Gypsy! <laughs> and we have to have that one. If you saw our review, we compare this one to Gypsy, the cat, because they look a lot alike. Even the dirty belly. That's the one thing that that's a detriment to this toy, though, is that the other white on him is perfectly white, and then the belly is yellow, and it's not like it shows a pattern of dirt on the belly. It's just a different color. Mm. It does bother me a little bit, but overall, I like the toy. And the last of the Mogwais that I have is Gary. Grumpy Mogwai. <laughs> yep. He's, He's just super pissed off constantly. <laughs> he hates everyone. He's like, well, I don't got any patterns, damn it, I'm all white. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got, like, longer hair than everyone else. He's like a Persian mogwai. <laughs> and he's just mad. <laughs> <laughs> he's adorable, though. I like him. <laughs> all right, next up, we've got all these little tiny guys. They're a very recent addition to my collection. Um, our one friend, Chris, what does he go by? Ghost? something. Steel Ghost. Steel Ghost, yes. He bought me these toys. They come as part of like a little board game thing with a paper which I threw away because I don't care about the game. I just like the little figures. I think they're cute. <laughs> and they're also made by NECA. Yeah, they got a top hat. These are all from the first Gremlins movie. And they're Stripe. At first, we couldn't tell what this was, but that's the one wearing the ski mask. <laughs> it looks like sack boy head. <laughs> <laughs> there's the one playing poker. It looks like a scuba mask. <laughs> um, here we have one of my gremlins, which is Mohawk. And he's actually the very first Gremlin figure that I got. Um, I really like him, but they changed their style after I got this one, and I think the new style is better. Like, I wish they'd make a new one of him with the newer style to make him look better. Well, they made they showed a preview picture of him, and then they never released it. Yeah, they still keep putting out Mogwais, but it doesn't seem like they're making Gremlins anymore, which is disappointing. Well, they showed off the video game Mohawk Gremlin, and it looks like it's that one they were going to make a remake of him, but it's just a video game version, so I'm not sure why they're not releasing the updated version of him in regular color. Uh, the one thing with him is that his Mohawk, see, comes off. The piece on the back used to come off, too, and we glued it in. And the piece on his head needs glued in, too, because it will not stay on there. Every time yeah. you bump him, it falls off. It's annoying. Yeah. But overall, I think he's pretty freaking cool looking. Mm -hmm. And he was the, the thing that started my entire obsession was getting him, and then it expanded from there. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have the brain gremlin. And it comes with his brain juice. So he drinks, gets all fucking smart shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love his fucking Coke bottle glasses. They did a good job on that, making them all blurry. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> He's basically becomes like the leader in part two, I guess. And he's kind of dusty. I tried to clean him off, but he's one of those toys that it doesn't matter if you clean him off, he still looks dusty. He just does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they did a good job on him. Next we have the Flasher Gremlin, who's <laughs> one of my favorites. He is ridiculous. <laughs> Most of them are running around naked, but he has to... He's flashing you nothing, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even really inappropriate, because he's showing you nothing. Mm -hmm. But I still really like him. <laughs> See, this is another one. 
This is like an updated version of the Gremlin 1's Gremlin. And I wish they would remake Stripe in this way. Yeah. Because I, we never got the Stripe figure just because it, it wasn't as good. Yeah, and he's like my favorite one. <laughs> like, they need to make a good version of him, damn it. Mm -hmm. He's pretty cool. Yeah. His sunglasses, though, we haven't shown the other one yet, but I kept stealing his sunglasses to put on somebody else. <laughs> this is George. <laughs> And George is the one who I kept stealing the Flasher's sunglasses to put them on George. Because with the cigar, he just needs sunglasses. <laughs> but they wouldn't stay on his head right. Kept falling off. This guy reminds me of like a big angry New York cab driver or something. He kind of reminds me of Arnold Schwarzenegger with a cigar sometimes. No, I guess. <laughs> I really like his eyes. Mm -hmm, he did a good job. Cool. And his mouth's pretty funny with the cigar and his big lips. Yeah. <laughs> he just looks like he's not taking anybody's stupid shit. No, he's angry. <laughs> this one has pretty awesome eyes, too. This one is the brown gremlin, because he's just brown. That's the only thing about him. <laughs> his pattern. <laughs> I really love his pattern, though. I do, too. He's really cool looking. Um... We kept talking about having one of him to customize and like make it really cool colors, but I don't know if that'll ever happen. Yeah, we never did that. But I think I think a gremlin like this, like even if you kept the pattern but painted them like black and red and orange, it'd be fucking cool. Like a fire gremlin. Yeah. Love a gremlin from hell. <laughs> be cool. <laughs> right here we have the phantom gremlin who's what is going on with this hair? <laughs> There we go. That's better. Uh, he also has like a little white mask thing, like Phantom of the Opera, but I didn't like it, so I don't know where it is. Because <laughs> I didn't care that I lost it, so mm. it's gone. I like it mess up things better. <laughs> oh, and he comes with this little acid thing. Mm -hmm. And we also have... Who came with this one? Uh, Mohawk. Mohawk came with the spider. Yeah. Spider juice. Got to share with that off. Mohawk spider juice. What's he's over here? And here's his acid that I... Another gremlin throws in his face. <laughs> it says, do not throw in face on the fucking jar. And then the other gremlin throws it in his face, and then he laughs about it. <laughs> they both laugh about it. Which is one of one of the really good moments of that movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that part. <laughs> it's just like, who fucking cares, man? <laughs> but he's a good one. I really like his messed up face, even though I didn't particularly like the fan of the opera mask he came with. Yeah. Who needs that part? <laughs> All right, and here we have the Spider Gremlin, who is not only the crown jewel of my Gremlins collection, but probably the crown jewel of all of the fucking toys that we have. That's, he's up there too. He might be my favorite figure that we have also. It's really hard for me to pick that kind of thing, but he's... He's possibly. fucking awesome. I can't even believe they made this figure. Like, he's just amazing. I love him. I can't believe he's still available for regular price. Um, well, actually, a little bit less than regular price on Toys R Us. He's still there. People haven't bought this thing. I guess it's just because Gremlin 2 is an old movie and not many, many people know what it is, younger people. But this figure is just so cool. If I you see this video and you know what Gremlins are and you like them, go fucking buy this thing. It's so cool. <laughs> I guess this is the coolest fucking toy ever. It'd even be free shipping on Toys R Us because it's fifty dollars. <sighs> well, wait, no, it's forty nine ninety nine. You have to pay one penny more for something. Yeah, buy something else like candy or something. Get free shipping. <laughs> this thing's just too cool to not get. It's so awesome. If either one of us had the time or the effort, we'd buy another one to customize. But that'd be a lot of work. Yeah. But, I mean, look at that. It's just so cool. So Man, all super these detailed. Legs, all these little joints move. and <laughs> That is just awesome. And then his arms move. The head's just crazy. Look at that detail. Look at all the little speckles, man. All oh. those little speckles everywhere. Well, in case you haven't seen the movie and you didn't figure it out, this is Mohawk, who has a spider serum that we showed earlier. He drinks the spider serum. Turns into a giant ass fucking spider. So yeah, that's just. And then he's terrifying. That's the Mogwai version back there. There's so many other things that they need to make. But they need to make the Bat Gremlin. Yeah, the Batman. The Batman. Oh, I'd be so excited about that. <laughs> uh, there is one other figure that we have, 
And we actually have two of them, and we can't find either one. <laughs> but it's the electric gremlin. And honestly, his figure sucks. It's a flat blue piece of plastic that's like... <laughs> I mean, it's like something that you could hard press in a second. Like, it's so easy to make, and they charge just as much for it as all the other figures, well, which I look, find ridiculous. It was a few dollars less. It, I, it should have been, like, a dollar. Yeah. It should have came with another figure as well. Yeah, it should have been, like, an accessory. It should not have been on in a package on its own. Mm -hmm. Which I remember going to Toys R Us for a long time and seeing a whole rack of that figure because nobody wanted to pay that much for it. Yeah. Which I, I do like having him as part of my collection, but to buy him full price would be insane, yeah. <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> and I don't know where he is, which is weird, because I knew where he was, and I went and looked, and he's not there. So I don't He just... He must have gone into an outlet or something. <laughs> what the... <laughs> he just zapped in the outlet. He's flying around the house right now. He's trapped on hold in a phone. So... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... We actually remembered where he was, and I don't know how he forgot, but we stuck him up there so he could have light shine through him, which looked pretty cool, actually. But, yeah, there he is, Electric Gremlin, right behind Scrotus. So, anyways, this is my Gremlins collection, and it's one of the few uh, collections of toys that we have where most of them are mine. Uh, Except for Spider Gremlin, that's both. Yes, ours. Mr. Evil Cheese claims ownership to the Spider Gremlin. He's really mine. <laughs> but I like I like to let him think that he owns half the Spider Gremlin, but the rest of them are all mine. By my own Spider Gremlin. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. This one's mine, bitch. <laughs> but yeah, I really I really like the Gremlins movies. It's it's one of those movies that. Are, I didn't get to watch a lot of movies like this when I was a little kid because my mom was real strict. But I got to see the Gremlins movies and I never forgot them. I really, really liked them and it makes me very happy to have all these toys. <laughs> and I just wish they'd start making more of them. I know. I don't care if they make shit up, dude. Make them up. Let me buy them. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> At least make the bad Gremlin. That's the one in a better stripe and a better mohawk. Yeah, you gotta have a better stripe. Like, he was he was the original badass of the Gremlins. I loved him, and he needs a respectable toy. We're definitely going to get that video game one. At least I am. I want that one. It looks cool. I don't think you showed me the preview yet. I showed you it. Well, I'm drunk right now, and I don't remember. Oh, well, I'll show you again. <laughs> <laughs> I never played the video game, but... Me neither. The toy looks cool. <laughs> Well, I guess that's it for this video. That's my Gremlins collection, and thank you for watching, and goodbye. Goodbye! Oh, damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe, Nate. Ooh!